Are you um, reading that newspaper? Because you've, you've been holding it up for about 10 minutes. Well, because it's very difficult to, to hold up to be able to really irritate uh, Tom. But this was the uh, this is the complete Daily News, the entire edition of the Daily News, the day after the Dodgers swept the Yankees in 63. My father saved it. Because he was such an anti-Yankee fan. Right. And so this was So what was pictures. his team the before the Mets became the Mets? The Dodgers. He was was the it the Dodgers? Dodgers? Okay. So he and would rather root for a team that picked itself up and moved 3,000 miles away than the one that played in the Bronx. Of that course. makes sense. So that's like rooting for your it wife that left sense. you. It makes perfect sense. It's, 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 it your, makes it's no your sense. They, they deserted people in Brooklyn. They deserted. But, so he's going to become a, a Yankee out of a fan? Borough. He's going to become a Yankee fan? No, he, he but, tried but to stick with the Dodgers. But why would you root for the team that left you? Would you ever root for your wife if she left you, if she was up for it's his not, big it's promotion? It's not the same no. thing. Of course it's the same thing. It's worse. I mean, he's obviously upset at Walter O'Malley, but there's still all those players. As you still have a lot, of the, a lot of the guys in 63 that were still, you know, on those teams that were in Brooklyn, including Sandy Koufax, who was the winner. You can see him celebrating there. And, you know, my father obviously became a Met fan, but he was still partial to the Dodgers. He grew up there. There's Ralph Houck sulking after getting swept in four. I think it's and I, the fact that he saved the entire magazine, the, the entire newspaper. Michael is great. You just you know, see a lot I of. I read really a cool story things. in the Athletic the other day about what would have happened if the Dodgers stayed, because the Dodgers actually, Walter O'Malley was was a man ahead of his time. He wanted to build a new Ebbets Field, a retractable roof. This was in you know he, he's pitching this in the fifties on the site where the Barclays Center stands. Mm -hmm. So Robert Moses wanted no part of it. He wanted to build the Dodgers a stadium in Queens. And O'Malley said, we're the Brooklyn Dodgers, we're not the Queens Dodgers. If he had given him that ballpark, the Dodgers would still be here. The Mets would never exist. The Giants still would have moved to the West Coast because the Polo Grounds was, was just terrible. And they would have had to find another team. Well to go out to the West Coast. So many things would have changed. Well, yeah, because I guess the, the story goes, Michael, that the the Giants probably would have moved to Minneapolis. Maybe. And so so somebody else, because they wouldn't have gone out, nobody, they wouldn't have taken just one team out to the West Coast. They, they had to take right. two. So if the Dodgers had stayed, eventually the Giants were not doing anything financially because the Polo Grounds was so run down and they couldn't get a new building, they would have moved to Minneapolis, and then what teams would eventually move? How long would it have been before we moved to California? But my father was not going to be... How, is he, how are you supposed to root for the team that beat your brains out through the entire 50s? Because you root for the team that stayed, that was true to the city. I don't, I don't think it's, it's, it's so... Nobody did that. I mean, yeah. I, I, never, I never heard any stories. Uh, another person, uh, he's no longer with us, was a pharmacist I worked with um, when I worked at Lincoln Pharmacy, he tried to stay a Dodger fan for a while, and he was like, getting the newspaper delivered, but he just couldn't follow it because with the time difference, and you just couldn't get the information right away, that when the Mets came in 62, it was just an easy transition. That's why the Mets were so popular, because every giant Met fan, every giant, excuse me, every giant and uh, Dodger fan became a Met fan in 62. And for those, I mean, mo most of our viewing and listening audience would know this, but the Mets cap is an amalgamation of the Dodgers and the Giants colors. Right. The, the Dodger Dodgers color blue. and the, the color of the orange is, is, the, is the Giants. But it, I, understand, I understand the premise of it's like your wife leaving you, but that's the team. Those are the players you rooted for. And you the, know, it would be easier now if a team left because you could, you could still watch yeah. every game. Back then you couldn't. And you know, and and, you, and, it, and and believe me, I think it's over now, Michael. Because remember, this this existed like deep into the '90s that New York was a National League town. You always heard that, right? Oh, it's a National League town because of the Giants and 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 the Dodgers, with just the Yankees being the American League team. I think that's gone now, obviously, because we're so so far away from the fact they 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 moved after the '57 season. But um, how difficult it must have been. The, they oh, both leave. Brutal. You can't you, follow them, as you said, because you know you, the games are on television. You can't get a newspaper from Los Angeles until like three days later. Maybe you'd get the the final score on the radio the next morning. And then the Mets didn't come until 62. And you weren't going to root for the Yankees. So you just didn't have a team. 
58, 59, 60, 61. I mean, four years without a team. You think it, you think in that situation you're allowed to just become a fan free agent? Yeah, I but think how so. do you become a fan free agent? Who do you root for? I mean, again, you grew up hating the Yankees, so you're not going to root for them. And right. you, and and this is and this is the late fifties. So you you had no um, satellite watch the games or li- who are you going to root for? I bet we have listeners out there whose families turned into fans of completely random teams as a result of this. But but, I, but I'm asking you, Peter. How, let's say you decided, all right, you know what? I'm going to be a Red Sox fan. I hate the Yankees. I'll root for the Red Sox. How do you consume them? You're, you're well, in New it, York. You can't listen to their games. You can't watch their games. Okay. At least, you're but at least with the Red Sox, score the next day. But with the Red Sox, at least you can get a box score. Yeah, but how do you root for a box score? You, you, you can't go to the games. It's a four or five hour drive away. Michael, and there were, was it, were, weren't there were, Michael? Oh, weren't yeah, there now weird? It's completely different. Now you could do it. Back then you couldn't. You just. But couldn't. weren't there weird AM signals that you could hear from all over the place back you, then? Yeah, but I don't. I don't think you could hear from LA. No. No, not L.A., the, but, like, Cleveland or Baltimore. Well, yeah, the big you thing can, yeah, was you, you can pick can up get KMOX in St. KMOX Louis. KMOX in St. Louis. But, again, if you grew up a Dodger and a Giant fan, what love would you have for the Cardinals? 